हेलो 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 वेलकम एवरीवन दिस इज सागर एंड आई एम हियर विद द वन एंड ओनली अनिश गिरी हेलो अनिश हेलो सागर आई नेवर सीन यू सो हैप्पी बिफोर आई डोंट नो व्हाट्स अप मेबी मेबी यू रीड अमरुदस इंस्टाग्राम पोस्ट बिकॉज़ आई रीड इट आल्सो आई ऑलमोस्ट क्राइड सागर सो ब्यूटीफुल आई ऑलमोस्ट क्राइड नो आई हैव टू स्टिल रीड इट बट लाइक यू आर गोइंग इट्स गोइंग टू बी अ ट्रीट सागर नाउ दैट यू हैव सेड इट I have to read it, but okay, we'll do it later. No, 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 but... no for later. Sagar, it's a serious, serious, serious thing. It's like separate stream, reading Amrutha's Instagram uh, post. Good yeah, stuff. but guys, I am in Taj right now in Chennai, and I have made this uh, setup work. So I'm very happy right now. I have a mic. The internet is just, you know, is right now they haven't set everything up, so it's. Uh, a little bit dicey, but I hope Anish will last. I'm very excited that we are going to do this dragon uh, episode because you know uh, Abhyudaya, who is my thumbnail maker, he was a little busy, so I took it upon myself to create the thumbnail. So, so <laughs> I made this thumbnail, <laughs> and then very soon he sent me the actual thumbnail. So the question is, which one do you like more? So yeah, so yeah, I think this stream is going to be just light show of different uh, terrible photoshops of me and dragons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 tell me the truth: is this better, or is this better? I mean, I know from which picture you photoshop this head. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you honestly Sagar. I mean I there is a lot of love and passion in both the thumbnails. Um patch. That's okay. It's okay. Just... okay, both are not so great. Let's maybe move on yeah to another another topic. <laughs> Before it gets too awkward. Okay, okay. So, uh guys, I want to tell you that Anish has you know earlier made a video on uh, the Night Orf uh, a course and it was amazing because it kind of changed the landscape of opening theory if you remember why kanze where everyone was playing the night orf and they used anish's course against him and then everyone was playing so you know he's the person who actually pushes opening theory right now and so i'm very surprised anish that you made a course on the dragon because in a way somewhere it is considered like semi dubious like i know hikaru played it at some time magnus also played it for you know his uh, some part of his career so what is your take why did you decide the dragon well first of all it gives you opportunity to people like you to create these beautiful thumbnails <laughs> if imagine you do a classical <laughs> sicilian course what kind of thumbnail can you make right yeah right <laughs> but now dragon immediately you want to put dragon this that no no but on a serious note so on a serious note yeah i thought that um, dragon is uh, uh, dubious and it's not like to be honest just theory we say for amateurs you know it's dubious this dubious that you know uh, feel but in reality it comes down to concrete variations and concrete moves down concrete lines that we cannot equalize right mm. so the dragon there was a there was a problem particular problem down the line which just where the computer would say why it's slightly better and also why it looks slightly better so there was nothing to do about it it was a concrete problem so we were um, actually checking the um, dragon at the, one of the sessions for the training sessions for the candidates tournament because oh. i had many training sessions for the candidates tournament of course and uh, we looked at uh, i had to face uh, one e4 in many games yeah first uh, round was nepomnesi was very important game so i thought okay of course i can play my solid things i can play the berlin or something and try to survive the opening and uh, try to defend but it was a uh, situation was such that i had to try and win uh, the first game if you remember well finally i didn't win the game i played well in the event but in the end i uh, was behind nepomnesi right because of that because of our mutual encounter so i was looking at all kinds of crazy thoughts and you know in preparation is always easy yeah in practice okay you hesitate but when you have one uh, half year to prepare you think okay let's spend a couple days on dragon maybe i'll play dragon you know so um dragon was one of the things we looked at and actually i found there a very very interesting idea where i think that uh, that line that was supposed to be bad for black is actually fine oh. so that's why i um Yeah, and then I thought, okay, I will decide if I play it in candidates or I can say or something, or, or uh, and if not, I will pub, pub or yeah, depending on that, I will publish afterwards the the course. And finally, after candidates, I published the course. I didn't actually play the dragon uh, because I felt 
that is what I played would suit me better for that, uh, you know, for that game. But it didn't. Um, but basically, the conclusion that Dragon is fine state. And I thought, yeah, it's nice for the course because I don't uh, play it myself also very much. I have so many openings, you know, I cannot play all the openings. So, um, uh, but yeah, I, I was very happy with the course and uh, I wanted to share also my uh, I'm findings, very you know? excited. I'm very excited to at least know the brief outline. So guys, uh, in this, we'll at least know where Anish has kind of pushed theory, in what direction, what are the move orders. And also we are going to look at a very interesting game which Anish lost. Isn't that true? Yeah, yeah. I See, I wanted to look at the game. The problem is it was hard for me to find a, a suitable game because directions that I given the dragon... See, dragon is, of course, not that topical uh, for a long time because of this bad reputation and so on. So uh, it was hard to find uh, games that were following my course because it's all new, you understand? But I'm mm. giving some move which is new. There are no games yet. So how can I, like, from where I get you the game? I can just show you a variation from the course, but I thought, okay, I, I want to have also one game that I show. And then I remember I uh, lost one very nice game to Ho Yifan one time, the Chinese player, Ho Yifan. And uh, uh, she played a very good game. It was the Dragon. And uh, I checked it today, the game again, and I see, yeah, it was quite a good game, actually. I think quite instructive. So I think it will be nice to have a look at it. But okay. you can first look at what Dragon is, first of all. It's not everybody knows. So it starts with E4, C5, so it's Sicilian. Sicilian. And again, yes. you know, the point of the opening saga always, as we say, control the center, right? So Sicilian, it makes sense. We uh, make the arrow to d4 square, we control that square. So white plays uh, knight f3, of course. He wants to go d4 and take with the knight, not to move the queen too early in the, in the game. So we go d6. d6, of course, we prepare knight f6, as in the knight of the same. Hmm. d4, take, take, knight, d knight f6, knight c3. And here, knight of is a6, which I explained in a separate video, yeah? And, yeah, this uh, we already have discussed, and actually you had yes. explained this A6 move very beautifully yes, uh, yes. in that video. It took you like almost 5 to 10 minutes to, yeah, to yeah. show all the mini intricacies. Clip. Mini clip. <laughs> now we'll do G6, guys. Why G6? I can do mini clips on every move here. G6, G6, every move. No, but G6 actually is, is a special move. Special. So, see, immediately many people think the dragon is something sharp, and it is sharp. But you should not be fooled. It's not black who wants to play sharp. See, first of all, why it's called the Dragon Saga? You can make this uh, arrow from h7 to g6, f7, e7, d6. This is supposed to look like the dragon. Oh, yeah? this, this, uh, this is the reason. Because it looks this little you, part. Yeah, 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 of course. Uh, that's supposed to, you, you didn't know that it was why? No, 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 no. So the thing is, like, many times people say that because this bishop here spits this? fire on this diagonal. <laughs> so you <laughs> can... <laughs> <laughs> so that is also a reason but yeah uh, this but you know what about these two pawns here what about them they, they are not part of the dragon right so, so this is this is a dragon and there is uh, two uh, dragon eggs ah, dragon, egg. <laughs> dragon eggs <laughs> okay okay no no but uh, this why it's called the dragon actually so what what g6 does, yeah? We want to develop the f8 bishop. That's the thing. Mm. We want to develop the f8 bishop and we want to castle. Now, the way g6 develops the bishop, it's very, very clever because now, if you look at our pawn structure, we created no weaknesses at all. Let's say compared to e5. Let's make the move e5 in the long run, yeah? You know, let's play e5, yeah? Let's make instead of e5 first, a6 bishop to e5, just for, I don't like to make the stupid move. So a6 bishop to e5. This is Nidorf, yeah? So what Nidorf does is great opening, of course, but it creates immediately the d5 weakness. I speak a lot about how it's okay to have that. That's not a problem. But uh, in this video, we have to choose our main friend. This is the dragon, yeah? So now we're going to... <laughs> now we are going to say that d5 is weak. Uh, yeah, d5 is weak. <laughs> <laughs> it depends, see? That's a politician, politician. Depending on which party one is there. Oh, no, this actually, it's okay. <laughs> uh, so... Um, no, but it's okay, but you do create, and also d6 pawn, it is weak by definition. If you don't go um, e5, you go e6 instead. Let's go e6, move ago. Okay, you first of all, okay, you allow g4, of course, that's that's a thing. But uh, pure on pawn structure level, d6 pawn is also weak on the pawn structure level, yeah? It's not relevant for a long time, but in the long, long run somewhere, it, it is, of course, also soft. There is no defender. If you play, however, g6, Look at the pawn structure there. You have 
like the weakest points in your pawn chain pawn chains are e7 pawn and it is so far back that you can you'll never be able to attack it right so it's actually pawn structure wise it is the best pawn structure you can have mm. in the sicilian agreed it's very that's why, solid that's why if you imagine you don't have the queens on i think i haven't tested it but i think if we remove the queens from the board um so you are saying the, like yeah. in this position if yeah. uh, just uh, for the sake of argument i'll do this then this is maybe i think it's the best move no 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 the no. g6 is the best move i think ah, because oh, okay because you in the end game pawn structure is the most important factor the king safety is gone right nobody cares about king safety in the end game because the king is always safe in the end game so um in terms of positional chess end game wise dragon is the best opening and in fact that's the thing when you play the dragon you actually want to get an end game in fact you don't want to kill anyone with your bishop on g7 you don't want to speed any fire but what happens is so let's go back to g6 we have now a6 bishop between two let's go back to the original dragon g6 get let's get the queens on the board and g6 yes yes so there is only one problem with g6 problem is that okay we develop bishop to g7 and we castle short and this allows white to go let's go bishop e3 here hello 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 hello, hello. hello. Hello, Anish. Nobody is. Guys, Anish? he's shooting, shooting content. This is content for Saga. It's not content for you. Oh, it's Tanya here. My God. <laughs> look at the video. Look at the video, guys. guys. Look at the video. Look at the video. Like, oh, I have content now. I have content. Oh, great. We can't hear him. Yeah, we can't hear you. We can see him. So and, 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 Tanya, and Tanya is like there. We have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> Anish is saying. <laughs> This is my yes. content, not yours. The content is happening. Don't take it. Is... <laughs> we are in Chase Base India channel. It's his content, you know. Otherwise, copyright strike. Hello, Tanya. Hi, Anish. <laughs> We're just giving you more views. You should be happy. Uh, are you actually? I'm really not sure. I mean, I mean. <laughs> Guys, we're just. Your voice is coming. Nice. Vidi, get in the frame as well. Uh, we want more views. Vidi also get bring Vidi in the frame. We want the most views. It's me, Ada. Tanya, are you also starting vlogs? Are you starting vlogs? No, Because no. if you don't do, I'm just featuring in do... them. I'm just featuring in them. No, but you know, if you don't have a vlog channel, your life is purposeless. <laughs> your life is just for That's other people's missing. vlogs. That exactly how I feel. I feel used by these guys all the time. That's what <laughs> I should be saying. That. <laughs> That's how you should be feeling. <laughs> I'm all done. This is this is wrong. Anya. Okay. This is why I don't do vlogs. This is why I don't do streams. Anish is speechless. Anish, can we cut this part somehow with this instructive content, which would have been so nice for years on Dragon, has just been spoiled by these two individuals. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! We've been here telling the whole story of the Dragon. dragon. Vidi, are you here to promote yeah, your course? Yeah, yeah. Are you here to promote your graphic course with the uh, with your discount again? Oh yes, guys. The sale is only there for two days, so you can check it out. You know, it's actually oh, an offer you shouldn't miss. Which offer? <laughs> My course <laughs> is going live in few uh, next month, but the sale ends in two days. Yes, this thing I've been eating for two days. Oh my! Everyone, my Tanya is there. You know, she has no channel now. Not even promote speak something stupid like Tanya did. <laughs> Yeah, I think I got my vlog content, so I'm very relaxed now. I can just chill. yeah, you can. Second, so you want to you want to sell some t-shirts or something? Some just based in their backer t-shirt, pillar t-shirt. Ah, uh, yeah, you're uh, promoting your dragon course, right? No, no, he's teaching dragon. I'm not promoting. I'm teaching. <laughs> with the promoting is you with your nonsense. <laughs> I am here spitting wisdom, spitting fire. I can't hear Anish, but uh, you know. Yeah, actually, the problem is people can't hear, so. I mean, this would be no, just people can't hear. Really, you can't hear. It's not a one-way conversation. Ah, actually, I'll just take it from Sagar by stream. This part. Exactly. You can then. Sagar so by, no copyright, just... please. Sagar by, <laughs> we are friends. Okay. It's mutual. Yeah, we'll oh. see. We'll see. No, <laughs> you have become. Right. <laughs> that's why, like, guys. Sagar was so excited. You can't imagine me. This. Sagar yeah, was there. Like, like, oh, 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 you ready? Oh, great. Ready? <laughs> oh, it's gonna be great stream. <laughs> I can't tell. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> Who's acting? Is he doing mine or yours? Yeah, yours, yours, Sagar, yours, yours. 
<laughs> look like uh, me. Look like yeah, me. Yeah, it does. It was. It was exactly. I think people are happy, uh, right? Chat, you are happy that we rated. No, this is an no, actual. No, but they are. No, but they are. They are fifteen hundred. They are fifteen hundred. This is how raid should be done. But this guys, is the procedure why, why, to raid. Why don't you sit and learn dragon? You know, maybe on online Olympiad, you guys can use. Yeah, yeah, can like, move this maybe. Then... All the people there in the chat going, can we please go back to explaining the dragon point structure and all this? Uh, I I don't know if this is going to work out, but let's hope it does. Uh, speakers, this one. Hello, hello, Anish. Can you say something? Oh. Yeah, yeah, we can hear him. But la- wait, la- I mean, audience should be able to hear. Okay, can you say something? Yeah, can you say, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, yeah, there will be an echo, I guess, guys. But you know, with Vidit and Tanya here, and the ability for all of us to hear Anish, I guess. Vidit, can you please chill already? Your your vlogs last tw- ten minutes, and you already shot twenty. It's just, <laughs> or you're shooting for ten different vlogs. But I Come just realized that this is an actual in real life read. Like that's yeah, so I unique, no? That's never been done before. Yeah, in yeah. real life, we raid. Usually, we ch- raid the channel. But That's authorities. They should raid with it also. Anish, he reached the hotel like what two hours ago, and, and I have not even went then, to my room. Ever since then, he's been vlogging. <laughs> ah, with like, a with a yeah, hand like this, yeah. He walked into the hotel with the camera on. <laughs> priorities, guys. Priorities. No, but I had the same thing with World Cup. You know, like the first few days, the guy was walking around like this. As soon as I left, he dropped the phone, started playing chess. Yeah. <laughs> You left so soon. What did I do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, with so, uh, yeah, I think uh, Sama is also there, by the way. Yeah, for content. What happened? Sama is not coming here. Yeah, that. Ah, uh, no? no, no, no. Sama. They didn't find the money. Yeah, they didn't find the money. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Only if Mama Earth was in Chennai. Only yeah, of course, Chennai. of course, of course, of course. <laughs> But Anish, how are you feeling right now that these two people have come? Do you feel like oh, this beautiful dragon lecture has spoiled, or you feel like content op? <laughs> content op. Since I got, let's be real, yeah, it's, it's not my channel, it's not my content. I feel the beautiful dragon has been spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. not even getting an Insta photo out of this. It's ridiculous. <laughs> no, it's an Insta exactly. story. Okay, can you, I? You can repost. Okay. You, okay, wait. Can I at least make an Insta story? Yeah, we made. Okay, guys, I look. I'll make an Insta story. Can you guys at least Tanya come in? Come in, Tanya. Okay. Come in, right? Scooch. Ah, idhar dekho na. Then I, I'm going to tag you guys, and you guys all retag me so that you have two times me tagged. So what's the? What are we going for? Are we going for that look where we look really serious? Are we laughing? Are we enjoying the dragon? Are no, no, we Tanya, just life you. With- you are just there. You are oh, just there. Okay. No, no, you you didn't. Wait, wait, wait. Just you guys smile. Just RIP dragon is going phone. on in chat. Okay, wait. I'm going to tag you. You guys retag me, and then life is good. Post a good photo, Anish. Yeah, yeah. Sagar, <laughs> this is how you create content. <laughs> I, I I was thinking like G six. Will he teach the Yugoslav attack? Will he teach some other opening <laughs> attack for H five? When was the Indian come? attack? You know, <laughs> <what happened? laughs> the Indian team attack. <laughs> Tanya and your training Vidit session is met going on, right? I have to go. That is true. Vid- Vid- Vidit has Vidit met his fan. Dude, that one guy, yeah. Wow. Crazy story, okay. So Vidit's of course busy vlogging, and someone in the lift had. Are you Vidit? And oh. and yeah, yeah, yeah. surprise, yeah. He was surprised. Nice. Really sweet guy, I mean, yeah. Vidit was surprised, or the guy was surprised. All of us. Are <laughs> you know, surprised. <laughs> He nice with it, but he did. And then he's like, "Can I get your autograph?" And then Vidit gives me his phone and is like, "Can you vlog this?" No, I didn't. Get- <laughs> I didn't get on my phone. This is live. And, and, and then the guy said, "Then the guy said, sorry, Vidit, I'm not your fan anymore." <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> Come in okay, the vlog. You will see the vlog. You guys will see that vlog, and you will see who is faking it. Me ne se nahi kya. Just this. <sighs> Today when I came out of the airport, there was someone. But Vidit, chill. Let the guy tell the story, no? Like, come on, man. This everything has to be for his for his channel, no? Ha, Let sorry. the guy tell the story for Chess Base India channel exclusively. <laughs> no, no, t- tell the story. Tell, tell the story. No, your story. My Vidit. story. What my story? Tera wo lift wala story. Lift story is over. No, then Saga, you have to hold the camera if he tells the story for his vlog. <laughs> what is your story? <laughs> with it, you know, with it, this finger pains a lot because he always holds like his phone like this somehow, and he's become such a pro at this, doing this. Okay, not just that. While the phone was pointing at Saga, it was on selfie. So actually, it's still recording with it. <laughs> ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you need 
need a selfie Jute stick. You guys, you need a selfie stick. Right now. Jhoot pe jhoot. Yeah. I, uh, so what is so, your story? So the huh. story is that uh, there was a person who came to the airport. When I got out of the airport, uh, she was very happy to see me and Amruta because she had followed all the lectures of Chess Base India. And so I asked her like, how did you get to know that I was on this flight? You know, because I never posted it. Like, how did you come? And she's like, at 10 o'clock, you posted, like you did a video that I'm leaving house. At 11 o'clock, you were in the airport. So now I watched. Look up the flights, yeah? yeah. Yeah, she figured it out. Nice. They did. They did as well once. I once I posted on uh, Twitter something as well, and they figured out as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tricky. It's tricky. Yeah, but it was very nice. I mean, at least one person is fine. Uh, I... <laughs> Next time, Saga flies. Suddenly, there are like two million people there. <laughs> and also, uh, we are all your subscribers, and also some subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> No, also today's Teachers' Day in India, by the way. Mm. So, yeah, read, read. Did, you read, uh, Amruta, did you read Amruta's uh, Instagram post? No. Yeah. Oh. I showed it to you. I showed it to you at dinner. I but, said couple but, goals. It, had, but it, it was said that content. This is what, this what, I, this what I commented. Couple goals. Hashtag couple goals. Couple exactly. Goals. I sh- you don't you remember? No, but it said Mauritius. So I thought it was. No, something. it was for Teachers' Day. It's a caption. 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 No, it's his own stuff, yeah. yeah. I showed it. No, but it's it. amazing. It's all, he's all thinking about content. You know, I was with him in the restaurant in Georgia. We had such a great time. And someone says, Oh my God, we're wasting such content here. You know, and I'm like, no, you, you know, know what happened? Just having a good time, man. You know what happened? There was a waiter, and he was, he became like, he was very friendly. And then he started acting about all Indian movies and like all man, the actors in Georgia. In Georgia. Uh, not Georgia, in Russia. So I thought, oh, this would have been great if we could have captured this in the vlog like this. Like, yeah. You know, he was doing acting of all but the But does it happen to you like you are playing against, let's say, Durar Bailey Wasif, yeah, in the quarter fi- uh, in pre quarterfinals, and you make a winning move, and then your opponent does like, oh, and you are like, oh my god, if only I can vlog this part, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> no, I did think that when they took me to anti doping, I thought, oh, it would be nice to vlog. You know this process of anti-doping, but I might... oh, for sure, very, very, I will be very good content for a lot of views. <laughs> Only some parts of it, okay? Don't if you do excited. the doping test, if you do the doping test on the vlog, it's very, very, very good. Yeah, it good limited content. content. Don't worry, don't get your hopes. For sure, it's uh, on some ways, uh, He has this membership, yeah, on memberships for membership members only. <laughs> Reddit review. It would be Reddit review then. For sure. Okay, guys, carry on, yeah. So Bye. Are... Oh, you're going. Yeah, yeah. You Dragon secret. Oh, he, he already said. <laughs> Dragon secret. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I think we entertained. Uh, guys, like the stream if you enjoyed the real life raid. Yes. Yeah. And please wish Sagar uh, Teacher's Day. Happy today, Monday. today Anish is the teacher. But you are the teacher for 365 days, so I think Anish. Will just just wait. Just wish me as well. Come on, man. Don't be a little <laughs> whiny pig. Yeah. Just wish me. But uh, Tanya, can you ask your coach trainer? That you are going to, yeah. uh, that everyone can learn from Anish Dragon. Yeah, that's actually what we're going to do. Our plan was to do a little training right now while watching the stream. Oh. That is how we're training for this. Anish, you're actually you? teaching the Indian so, women's so team right if, now. If anything goes wrong, we know whom to blame. <laughs> <laughs> Anish, this is, if this is Suddenly, our team, I'm in the equation. The is also responsible. Okay, at least, tell me, at least tell me who else in your team so that I know who I'm responsible for. Uh, Pragu, Vaishali. <laughs> Harika Hampi. Hampi. Okay, I'm teaching the dragon, but why Shali, yeah? Okay. Why <laughs> Shali? You know, you know but uh, Anish, Harika already uh, uh, learned that Harika, dragon. Harika knows dragon by heart by now. Yeah, she, sure. because uh, she played in this speed chess against, uh, I think, Koshchenyuk, maybe? Was that match? Yeah. I'm going to send Harika, you know, I'm going to send Harika my next course before it's released. Nah. I'm going to send her exclusive to my uh, my course because the dedication she plays my courses, man. This is just beautiful. This is what it's okay. this just makes me happy. <laughs> Guys, uh, the link is in the description. <laughs> Please go and check it out. One is but actually, uh, to be honest, I'll make a confession. I have bought his course and it's actually good. It's I mean, all jokes aside, <laughs> which one? Dragon, Dragon Knight of both. I bought. Yes, I paid did it to say it, but I never believed you actually say it. Amazing. <laughs> so it's actually good. Like. You can see this is... that Anish might troll or something, but when it comes to chess, it's he's good. He's with, good. With it was like, okay, ten minutes of content received. Now time to give back something. 
Yes, Agar Bhai. But if he's always keeping the score, yeah? Okay, probably I might to probably value of around $350. Now I should give maybe $250 back, you know? Always <laughs> counting there in the set. It's okay. You guys can't take the... No, but that, the only funny thing is that there is Tanya and she's completely not getting the point. She thinks, oh, this was supposed to be fun. And now she realizes everybody's making content and she's just missing out. <laughs> I'm selling courses, Tanya. you are making content and Tanya is there like, what the hell am I doing here? Tanya, what do you feel, Tanya? I've been, I've been tagged on a story by with it, so that's good. Ah, you're growing, you're growing yeah, your Instagram yeah. game, yeah? Okay, Tanya, okay. Tanya, wings, wings for the wings for life. Tanya yeah? Tizer or something. <laughs> Tanya Tizer. Okay. Multiple. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So guys, we're I, we're gonna go. Yeah, okay, guys. Now enjoy. By the way, guys, sorry, sorry, sorry. Is, 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 sorry, is that is AD also there? No, he's coming tomorrow. Oh, okay. He's Because uh, yeah. With AD, we'll do something else tomorrow. Chal, chal. Sa- uh, Sagar, you want to say bye to Vidit vlog? <laughs> Vidit vlog, Vidit's vlog, you want to see the vlog? You have already seen it here. Yeah, I mean, this is... Oh, Actually, it's stopped. Oh, it's stopped. Okay, bye guys. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay, bye. Yeah. See you, thanks bye, guys. Thanks, guys. <sighs> Like now it's going to be painful. Oh, he doesn't hear me. It's going to be painful now. Why? You will watch your uh, stream uh, viewers should go like this down. No, no, no. The thing is that people are like, oh, wow, we'll, we can now learn the dragon. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. For sure. Dragon, uh, guys, you <laughs> cannot leave now. You are all they tied all, up. They all leave. They all leave. As soon as uh, they see that, no, it's gone already. So already uh, 20 people left. <laughs> Tanya is saying sab chale gaye. She's asking, has everyone left? No, guys, you you cannot leave. Okay, this is this would be an insult to Dragon, to to uh, chess. So please don't go. Please stay back. Learn everything. Second, the thing is, you have to. Yeah, but you have. To, it's because they think they're anonymous. You have to tell them. I know all of you. Who is watching? I know where you live. I know your names. No, Prakash, don't go. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Pratap Singh. Hey, Bandika, Priya, Bandika, don't Suryansh, go. Aryan, Nitish. Everyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, Anish, let's go. I, uh, I think later on I will uh, cut this part like 20 minutes from this yeah. and then mm-hmm. shift it somewhere else. Sure, if you want this video to have zero views, it's a good idea. Okay, let's continue. So, <laughs> But yeah, it was very interesting that you said that in the dragon, because the structure is very solid, uh, endgame is generally preferable for black, like you can remove the queens yeah, from the board. Yes, and also what you want is you want to cast on the same side. Basically, you want to remove the king safety factor. As soon as you remove the king safety factor, black is good. Mm. And black's problem is king safety. And why is that is? Because, okay, black goes bishop e3. This one, Tanya and Vidit came, but now I hope it's not going to happen. They're not coming. Okay, so they're going to be seven. <laughs> one important trick, Sagar, one move before. One important trick, never to play knight g4, because if you play knight g4, bishop b5 check. This famous trap, you're eight, losing. Eight year oh, old, this is one, five, eight-year-old boy. Eight-year-old eight boy. boy. Eight-year-old eight year old boy. Trick. And I, I, I just but want to ask brother, you. I played the dragon, why did I lose? <laughs> <laughs> okay, one It's question, sound, guys. Because you are not listening to me. <laughs> guys, We so have raised all the money with Chess India for your travels and you are not even listening to me. <laughs> okay, guys, how should White win here? What's the winning move? Please write down in the chat. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anish is like, no, I didn't want to ask this question. <laughs> There are many more interesting moments, but... Yeah, no, that's good, it's good. Good questions. Okay, so uh, that's, yeah, Queen G4, obviously. Thank you, chat. You're all very smart. Now let's move on. <laughs> yeah, we play Bishop G7. And White can play F3 here. We castle. And Queen D2. It's called Yugoslav attack. And um, the point is that he has the long-term idea of going, of going Bishop H6. Yeah. Then uh, H4, H5. Uh, then trading on g7, trading on g6, queen h6 check, and, and uh, knight, trading our f6 knight with knight d5, and then mate on h7. Yeah, this is his idea. Oh, okay. So actually, how you should how you should see it, or how you could see it, is that black has a perfect position. He just has a, one issue with the king, and white is white's only way to somehow prove black's concept 
wrong or try to prove it wrong is by punishing it with this with this plan. Um, in reality, it doesn't work. So we can already uh, talk about a bit uh, how I uh, play here. So I play. This, this is the most critical line. I mean, if you are going to play yeah. the dragon, yes. then f- maybe like me- out of ten games, perhaps three or four, you would face this. Correct. Yes, and uh, the thing is that if White does not play this, then the dragon is the best Sicilian for sure. Of all, that's for sure. Uh, so white has to kind of play, but it's of, of course not so simple. But knight c6. Now one thing is white castle is long. Then already we hit him with d5. Yeah. So this, before, this, yeah. this, isn't this very theoretical? Like this line, or you think it's fine? Like no, it's very theoretical. That's that's where there was a problem before. It's one of the. Uh, it's probably the main line where there was a problem before. But uh, see, the reason why we play d5 is that we see that h4 stuff is coming for us. This bishop h6 can know this. And because we know it's coming, now we are trying to change something up, you understand? Steer some mess. We are not doing this because it improves our, it doesn't improve our structure. Our structure was great, yeah? But it's just, we see the attack coming, so we start reacting already in the we center. So in the, the center. Yeah, so after d5, uh, you know, when I was a kid, I used to play bishop c4 instead of long castle, bishop c4. I knew this is main line. But uh, one time I played, uh, when I was I was an eight-year-old boy, <laughs> probably actually around eight year old and I played uh, an open tournament and my father was not there in the playing hall <laughs> <laughs> but I remember that it was long castles in bishop c4 so I for, mixed up the order I played long castle first and then my opponent played d5 and I thought like what is going on so I of course I took on d5 knight d5 I took on c6 bc6 and I just took on d5, cd5, queen d5. I thought, okay, what does he want? I want a pawn, and I attack also the rook on eight. Probably he has to trade, and I'm a pawn up. And then the guy played queen c7. And I thought, oh my god, you know? <laughs> As an eight-year-old boy, you know? You, so would, then, you would get excited. Yeah, rook is hanging. And if, yeah, no, so I mean, I if took you don't eight, know, then you would take it. Yeah, I took the rook on a8. He went bishop f5. Uh, I took on f8. And king f8. And I still thought, okay, white has two rooks and the pawn. That's more than the queen. Right? Because queen was thought to me is nine or ten. And rook is five. And five plus five plus one. My son can do this, by the way. Yeah, He's uh, turning five now. He can do this kind of five plus five, one, and so on. Nice. Uh, but for me, it's harder. So I think it is 11 against nine or ten. Yeah, right now. It's, but, um, but. Yeah, correct. What is, uh, what is the problem for white is that. Black King is super, super safe because I can also play h5 and bring it to h7, where it's just... And the rooks, of course, are not working together, yeah? They are not really aligned. And uh, Black has this two strong bishops, bishop on f5, bishop on g7, and queen e5 is also coming. Let's, let's say if bishop d3, I think queen e5 is also there. So uh, White is struggling to defend uh, immediately, yeah, his stuff. And uh, actually, I lost this game. It was a long fight. You know, it was actually a very instructive game because, okay, I fought very well. I was a very good uh, fighter as an eight-year-old boy. And uh, at some point, it was very, very instructive. It was three or four repetitions. So we were repeating moves already many times. And there was arbiter watching. And while we repeat moves, I make moves, let's go. And, and he also makes moves. And I said to arbiter, but it's draw. It's draw. It's three or four repetitions. Can you just... Is it draw or not? Like, And the guy, arbiter, was there like... And I'm like, but it's true, no? And then, okay, I continue playing, and somehow uh, the guy um, deviates, and then I lose. And then later I asked the arbiter, but what is going on? It was three times, and you didn't, uh, you were there, and they said that you have to stop the clock. And it was before I knew that rule, that you have to stop the clock. I was just too little. I never encountered the situation. I knew that three or four is a draw, but I didn't know that you have to stop the clock. So that's I learned there, that you have to stop the clock. Anyway, that's the uh, eight-year-old boy story. Now back to Knight X5. Guys, Anish has so many eight-year-old stories of himself. Yeah, like I have to create them. He has already his stories. Yeah, okay. So, so, so yeah, we, we also have surely eight-year-old boy stories. We're just uh, not sure we want to know them. Okay, so take on C6. So, yeah. eight-year-old saga thought, oh, this is content with his black and white camera. <laughs> Okay, so you so why has to take on d5, 95, 96, bc? 
And the main line is bishop d4. And that's the, uh, you have to know this as white. That's very critical. So theory here was bishop takes d4. Queen takes d4. And then let's say they played like uh, queen b6. But because computer says this was best, and but it's um, it was latest word of theory. And then there was debate. Is it holding for black? Is it slightly worse? Is it slightly worse and holding? Or is it holding and slightly worse? And there was all debating, debating. But this is not the point, right? So why would I play like this with black? Then I play not Dragon, but Berlin or something, yeah? Right. And already, you know, the first time I realized that something is off, when I played uh, some bullet match uh, with some strong player from Azerbaijan, and he played e5 against me always here. And I, of course, realized immediately that, okay, for in bullet chess, it's, of course, much better to keep the strong g g7 bishop. But I knew that this line is bad, yeah? So and the reason is bishop c5. They had this move bishop e6. Sacrificing the rook. Sacrificing, but white doesn't take. Uh, in general, if you take queen takes, then black is doing well because his yeah, this bishop is unopposed. Because see the yeah, yeah. It's uh and position is not open enough. The rooks don't matter. I will just have rook b8 and attack, and I'll just uh, but you don't do this. I think you play knight e4, I believe, after bishop e6. Knight e4, I think uh, rook e8. And then white goes h4. Sorry. Or, yeah. Anyway, the point is white goes h4. Black goes uh, h6, try to stop h5. And then white can play like uh, h5, g5, g4. Uh, it's even better than to start with g4. And then white has, uh, okay, include bishop c4, queen c7 as well. You can make queen c7, bishop c4, just for uh, queen c7, bishop c4. Yeah, this, this is the position. But basically, the point is that you get such a position, according to theory, and then See, the knight on e4, it blocks the e5 pawn forever, because if you go f5, he will take the pawn. So it doesn't it doesn't move the e4 knight. And then you have the bishop on g7 staring at the pawn, and it's neutralized. So that's why the old line was never good. But I uh, discovered, and it was already played uh, in uh, two games already, e5, bishop, c5, that I noticed, I don't know, maybe more. But I saw one game was... Uh, Abbasov, a strong grandmaster from Azerbaijan played. And uh, two days ago, this guy, uh, Sebenik, uh, from I think Slovenia. I think Slovenia. 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 Yeah, he played uh, my suggest move rook e8. And the, the point is that, see, you anyway later played rook e8, in fact. And uh, uh, nobody anyway takes the exchange. So why, you know, why all this? And uh, uh, the point is that basically I don't anymore allow h4, h5 after uh, in 94 variations, you play here less than 94. I'm going for lines with eventually quick f5, where I keep that pawn, pawn fluidity and so then later e4. This doesn't come and attack this uh, bishop. Yeah, down, uh, yes, exactly. So down, it's not, not right away, of course, but down the line. So the point is that basically, strategically speaking, I want to avoid that h5, g5, g4 structure. I want to keep that pawn, because I have four against three, right? I want to keep that pawn majority, and I want to push f5, and later push e4. So uh, as soon as that kind of was in place, the engine also started to agree that this is... Uh, uh, in fact, the engine first showed it, and later I realized why it showed it. It's not like, you know, I had the thought, and then it was the way around. First engine showed rook e8, and then all the moves, and then I realized, at the point is that I keep my pawn structure fluid. And then... Uh, it seems that the variations work, and it's not a shock because we have strong bishop on g7, we have an open b file for the rook. And as soon as this uh, variation was fine for black, then I realized that, okay, maybe dragon is simply a very good opening, you know? Maybe it's fine again. And uh, I found one more uh, important idea after bishop c4 instead of long castle, the, the old main line. Uh, so the theory here is, all theory is bishop d7, then white castles long. So of course, bishop c4, the idea is to stop d5. Yeah, there's no other idea. Bishop is actually exposed. Rook c8, here you go. They were going bishop b3. And uh, there is a lot of theory. There's knight takes d4, knight d5, all kinds of theory. But it's very, very shaky. Like, maybe black is okay, but it's very, very, very shaky. Yeah, like earlier, it used to be like white, is, black is in trouble. But then with h4, like black started going h5 and somehow he could 
like try yeah but go. but instead of h4 why start going to be one and so on and it, this is very very dubious so the latest word in theory was to go knight x d4 actually instead of knight d5 uh rook c8 bishop t knight x d4 bishop d4 b5 and it's very close to be fine very close but is this down... known as like the topalo variation or something or not this one not so sure not so sure what's the name i know the the line but i don't know if topalo variation is a name and there is also a line by the way instead of rook c8 some rook b8 called the Chinese dragon. Ah, yeah, yeah. That's our epic name, Chinese dragon. You know, I'm excited. I wanted to recommend those Chinese dragon. Oh, you know, some thumbnail Chinese dragon. <laughs> you know, IG there. But uh, it's it's very exciting uh, on the name. But if you look down the line, you get some very, very uh, sad end game. So I thought, okay, it's, let's not do it. So I've uh, discovered simply the computer is showing instead of bishop d7, just to take on d4, bishop d4, and uh, bishop e6. And this was an old line that used to be already played. Hikaru played it even against me. But there is something new there. So bishop b3. We go queen a5. Long castle. Uh, b5. And now if he just goes king b1, somehow um, the way Hikaru played against me He was going rook fc8 first, yeah? But I... Uh, yeah, yeah. Correct. Yeah, he just, that's what he was doing. I think but you, there play, is, you mm -hmm. took here, I think. Uh, yeah, I, I reacted not the best way. No, I should have reacted. Let me remember. This was like nine years a, ago. A3, a right? A3 I should have gone, I think. Rook H1, perhaps. I don't know. Rook H1, uh, yes. Rook B8, right? Or how does it go? Bishop B3. CB, CB, right? Or not? B4. No, no. This, yes. But this, he wouldn't. He wouldn't. There is uh, another line with Rook B8 after uh, instead of Bishop B3. Is it here, Rook B8? Uh, maybe no. New idea. No, I mean, no games. There was this end game. Oh, wait. How did it go? So, what is the theory here? Bishop, I mean, most number of games, yeah, bishop b3, yeah. cb3, b4. And then? Bishop f6, b6. Yes, 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 bc, bc. Yes, 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 correct, 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 correct. correct. Bishop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you get the pawn end game. Bishop c3, bc. That's, yeah, queen c3. Pawn end rook game. C3. Yeah, you can, you can even get pawn end game, I think. Rook a c8, rook c3, queen c3. You can even get some pawn end game, yeah. And everything trades. Draw, yeah? This is draw? Uh, probably, yeah, but it was not, it was debated for a while because it looks like white has outside pass pawn. But white has an improvement down the line, in fact. White has an improvement. And I think the improvement... Uh, I think that it's actually a3 instead of rook h1, if I'm not mistaken. Could very well be. I think there's actually an improvement. Can you check if there are games here? Five I think games, but no strong players. Yeah, yeah, that could be the one. Anyway, this line was not so good, rook fc8, finally. And then Hikaru abandoned it. But there is actually a very simple uh, direct option, so if you can see, just before. Okay. Knight d5. Take, take, queen b5. You know, it's quite uh, quite interesting because uh, I have a lot of, uh, I know, of course, equally well, dragon and the Nidorf. But because I play the Nidorf so much, the Nidorf variations, I can pull them out immediately, yeah? If I, uh, if I speak. But in the dragon, I always have to think because when you never had the had it on the board, mm -hmm. uh, never played it, there are no you have uh, actually... like no experiences of over no, the no. board play. No, no. So uh, that's why it's important if you learn opening that you practice it because uh, a dragon I never I myself barely played, and so for me like I know all this, but I have to double check always extra in a few seconds. So it's kind of funny. But yeah, you can just take take queen b five and you want to go a five a four. And uh, I don't know why they didn't play like this before. Uh, well, there were some games, but somehow it was never uh, noticed. But it's just a very simple way of playing, and it's just fine. It's just fine. And uh, I look in details in the course, but there's not, it's not even so complicated. Hmm. So uh, these two important new ideas. So in that line, to go e5, rook e8. And in this line, to take and bishop e6. That kind, you know, kind of I mean, changes completely there. Yeah. Like when I was young, uh, I was told by like my trainer, that if your opponent, let's say bishop c4, uh, how, how does it uh, go like, no, uh, sorry, sorry, here, uh, long castle or, or g4, yeah, 
G4 is there. Yeah, then, G4 is there. Mm-hmm. Uh, here, bishop e6 is a good move. The yes, idea sir. being that after takes, takes, the f3 pawn becomes weak. Oh, Saka, you could uh, the, the record the course instead of me. I do all this exactly like you with the same arrow, the same voice. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's all on the video. But uh, in my video, it's paid. Here it is free. <laughs> Saga, <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Saga, stop copying. I'll copyright strike you. You are telling all my course here. No, I um, learned this as I learned this as twelve-year-old boy. So eight-year-old, eight-year-old. Saga, for the story, it's better. Say eight. Yeah, as eight-year-old. So what I was thinking is that in such a position, when you are going, let's say, bishop c4, knight d4, bd4, and bishop e6, and he takes and takes. Would this not create like there is no weakness? So would this yeah, not yeah, become yeah. a weakness no, for black? Let me, uh, let me, you know, Saga, calm you down here. Okay. Don't worry. See, there is a fundamental difference between the early bishop b6 and after one after trade. There, you froze. Are you there? You back. There, you took with the knight. So you had that bishop on f1 left that could go to c4, attack the spawn. Here, we traded the knights and we traded the bishop. So we removed light square bishop. And now tell me which piece will attack our pawn on e6. No, nobody will ever come near it. And what you usually have, this position is, of course, extensively analyzed on the court. Bishop takes e6 is another big line. Yeah, It's a completely uh, uh, analyzed as well. What we do in the long run, we play queen a5. We bring uh, rook out to c8. A, let's say, a to c8, let's say. No, let's say a, yeah. This f file half open, better to keep. And then we remove the knight from f6, let's say, to d7. We trade the bishops, and we send the knight to c4. But uh, the nice thing about pawn e6 is that it controls d5 square from knight d5. So in fact, it's very nice here. But and uh, the only time it gets attacked that I saw. Uh, one second. So Michael wants to join the stream or what? Oh my god! Did you want? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. He can. So why are you uh, here? <laughs> to give you Michael. <laughs> ah, you have to. Okay, that's fine. You now. <laughs> He's we I now have another <laughs> raid. This time by Ma- oh Michael on yeah. chess base India for the Michael, first time. <laughs> Hello, Michael. Oh my god. Oh my god. Epic. Epic. <laughs> Guys. Oh, you look so cute. Michael, how are you? <laughs> He's completely happy. He has you only both, one sock for you, some reason. You both, my, 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 my wife decided to do style. Yeah. You both froze on that perfect uh-huh. moment where uh-huh. you both looked like, you know, both were looking in the same direction in the uh-huh. camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, but see, it's not like uh, it's a content OP or something. It's just that uh, he, uh, he, may, he, how to say, the na- nature, 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 nature fault, basically, nature fault. And then uh, <laughs> my wife has to now oh, replace replace her uh, beautiful dress, Sadie would say. So, so okay. Because, Basically, yeah. Michael has to learn the dragon now at the age of four yeah, months. Yeah. No, that's, four months. No, I mean, honestly, if, if you are, if you're, so dear parents, if you have this uh, $30 or whatever, and your, your children are like under three months, I wouldn't <laughs> recommend studying the dragon. But... Michael, in some cases, like in my case, Michael already is ready for it. He shows interest here. And he, I, for Michael, it's a bit too many arrows, Sagar. I think let's remove some. It's a bit too many. Yeah. <laughs> he said, really no, it. it's not too many arrows. <laughs> yeah. No, he said, like, he said, like, hey, where did you remove the arrows? <laughs> no, so... Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, no, Michael already understood. So the only time uh, we saw this night... The pawn on e6 uh, being a, uh, an issue was uh, an issue. To be funny, it's only his again. first words are on the stream. Yeah, <laughs> he will just say like dragon as first word. This, this is the this is the youngest we, person we have had on on the stream ever ever. <laughs> like uh-huh, I have yeah. done five thousand streams perhaps or five thousand videos, but this is the first time because when no, I mean I've seen I've seen Sagar less. People on your stream, like we did, but never younger. Yeah, <laughs> younger not. Maybe less mature. So, like, my mother, do you like this? Da? Like it? Yeah, I think he's missing the arrows now. But basically, 
Ya de E6 pong. You know, you know when the when with it, Tanya came. I could still focus on dragon, but when Michael yeah. is here, it's impossible. But okay, we'll try, we'll try. Okay, let's go. Yeah. So the thing about the E6 pawn is that it never gets attacked. Only time I saw it attacked was in the end game, and in the end game, the king of seven was very nice way to protect it. Yeah. No, Michael, king of seven is okay. It's an end game. I said in end game, it's okay. No, it's just end game. End game is fine. King is good. King seven in the end game. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I know we want keep king, king is in on g8 normally, but as soon as the queens are traded, king can be on the seven. It's completely fine. It's normal. You will do will learn later. It's no problem at all. <laughs> if if Michael, like two decades later, yeah. plays some kind of a world championship match and wins with the dragon, this is this is the moment when he had learned. Just imagine it. how well the course will sell. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's a joke. It's a joke. Yeah, yeah. No, seriously, it was not a planned appearance. Yeah, I mean, Michael usually uh, wear, wears a sock and doesn't show up on streams, but okay, he just had to. Because we don't have like, uh, we have only my wife and me yeah, right now, so mm. there's no other way. If one has uh, trousers full of shit, then here somebody else has to take him. <laughs> yeah, so um, I should have said poop, yeah? Sorry, Michael, but it's actually me, is the same. So, yeah. Yeah, so basically that's it. That's it. That's for the main lines. Right. And uh, we can see what happens if white goes for the side. And white goes very often for side lines if he's surprised with the dragon. It's what I did myself with Hoi Fan. Because you think, you know, oh, I'm not ready for sharp fight. I will play it solid. But that's exactly what black wants. Okay, you know, before, before we uh, go to your move, which you played against Yi Fan, which was G3. Yeah. yeah. One more very uh, main move is Bishop E2 with the idea yeah. of short castle. It, yes. That is not very dangerous, but it is a potent way to play, no? Yes, Isagar, uh, I have a lot of my course. is of course, spent on sidelines. But to be very frank with you, um, it's just, it is so easy to respond to all of them. So you bring the bishop to g7. Uh, you uh, castle, castle. Anish, I have a small request. Like, right yeah. now, Michael's, uh, like, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. thanks. Yeah. Like for the viewers, they are watching the board, but whenever they look at Michael, they are like, oh, I can't yeah. see his face. Yeah. Uh, okay, Bishop G7. Yeah, the viewers are watching the board. And <laughs> <laughs> Michael rapping, yeah, like, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> On the microphone. Okay, Bishop G7. Yeah, so uh, Castle Castle, Bishop E3, let's say, or Rook E1. We play Knight C6. And white usually drops the knight back to keep because uh, when you are when you have less space, you want to trade. That's also a huge uh, thing to know in the dragon. You want to trade, yeah. You basically want to trade in the dragon. You want to trade and you want to win the end game because you have better post structure. You have the semi open C file, so you just want to go down into even the rook end game or rook and the piece or and you just win the end game. So knight c six, knight b three. Yeah. Now in that two ways, you can include always a six, a four. Five minutes, yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Just, just actually two minutes. Okay. I just need something. I should go? Yeah, if you can. Ah, okay, for... Uh, two minutes. Okay, okay. Saga, I'll be back in two minutes, okay? Guys, it's not for no reason that Anish is called the family man, yeah? Like, look at this. The guy is, has made, like, the course on Nidorf, cutting edge theory. And right now he has to take care of uh, Michael and uh, then he'll come back and he will rattle out the moves. Uh, amazing. But while Anish is away, I'll uh, take this opportunity to tell all of you that what Anish is showing right now is very amazing. You know, it's very kind of him to show all of these lines. It basically gives you a direction. You can also check out the one hour course of this night off with his video which is freely available as short and sweet video is the first link in the description. And if you want to buy the course, you can get the second link in the description. Um, I, I mean, you guys can get a very good repertoire against 1e4 uh, with the uh, dragon. And yeah, I the main idea that I, I would love to do this course, I uh, love to do this video with Anish is that you guys learn the dragon 
but then also yeah. you can learn it in depth by getting it yeah anish uh, yeah, yeah yeah so see uh, a6 a4 you can always include yeah uh, or not it's a matter of taste i usually include it and then you go bishop to e6 uh, and you have a few ideas you can prepare d5 you can also uh, take on b3 and play e6 and then play d5 or you can also play let's say rook c8 and usually you want to put a piece on c4 so either knight e5 or knight a5 and you want to trade on c4 some pieces Basically, you're just, as I said, yeah, you're just happy to trade as much as possible. You are very happy that you don't have uh, any kingside attack going by white. So your king is safe. Yes. And pawn structure is good, life is good. Basically, life is good just. So just I'm, I'm just good. coming to this conclusion that if white is not going all out against the black king with this, then you have a pretty easy life because, like, all the moves are very natural, you know, guys. Uh, like this, this, play for c4 and so on yeah and it's just you are strategically have a good position you have like a long term yeah so if you just start to speak about position and talk about what's up then everything is good yeah like it's like what's the catch you have better pawn structure okay you have a little less space of course a little bit less space but it's not so so vital here because okay you are also uh, controlling the center you know you have a semi-open file on the c file you press press against the c2 pawn so white should have something in return, and he doesn't have so much in return. Of course, white can try to neutralize your pressure. You can trade carefully, remove the knight from c3, play c3 with the pawn. But even in such positions, we'll see my game with Polyphon, actually. It was there shown. Uh, yeah, black, black starts to have small pressure already in such situations. Black starts to have good position. So yeah, the that's the great thing about the dragon, that if they... Because against knight of... Uh, okay, the... Uh, of course, the disadvantage is that white has 20 moves after a6, and they are all equally harmless, but also equally tricky, yeah. right? Yeah. In the dragon, it's a very simple story. It's either they uh, take the fight on, but we are prepared because you have my course, or uh, you just... But then if you dodge the fight, uh, you just play this calm line, the black has a very... The black has the best Sicilian ever, and there's no den denying that. If if white wouldn't go for local castle, everybody would play the dragon. You would see every day, Carlson, uh, uh, all this Fabiano, uh, Nepo, all that will all play the dragon, and they would stop playing e4 because of that. You know, if they are all afraid of long castle plans, and um, they just think that yeah, AG did some course. We know it's bad. Probably the course is he's selling some crap for noobs. Probably it's not good. But they actually just look. It's just fine. I have you know I the engines I use Sagar it was for candidates. You can imagine yeah. I will soon have um, also, because uh, I have some kind of um, partnership, yeah, with the provider of engines. So it will be soon uh, leaked what kind of engines I use. Is really like the the best, uh, the better for sure, better engines than Carlson used for his championship match previous. This one, this one, I don't know honestly, but I know what he used for previous world championship match. And my hardware was better than, than that, than what he used before. Amazing. So, uh, I've and I've checked, you know, I let it. It's not like I just, I uh, in critical positions, I let that, those engines to think, have them sometimes many moves. So, I, I was checking all that. So, it is just working, this dragon. Uh, but, of course, yeah, black has to know, remember. And, of course, at the top level, surprise value is very important. Because, see, the if you are uh, slightly below, you buy the course, Chances is high, even if your opponent, your opponent probably bought the course. They all buy my courses, but they are lazy to study the courses, most of these people, yeah? They buy it and then they forget. This is, by the way, very nice, guys. Just keep doing that. It's really fine. But <laughs> the problem is, then they don't remember. What, and you can still surprise them with the move. But on top level, of course, let's be real, if you're professional, yeah? I mean, if you just haven't bought my night, of course, as a top player, you're a total move. Just you're a total move, yeah? You, I don't know what, what you're thinking. You have to do it. But mostly we assume they all bought. So then they already know it's coming. And as soon as surprise value is gone, of course, it's less interesting because you know it's fine. But what is the point, yeah, for top player? But of course, for a player below, it will be surprise value because nobody remembers, knows, and uh, all that. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, in general, if you guys, I think the only difficulty you would have with the course is to remember all the analysis, not the whether it's right or wrong because it's going to be great analysis. I think. To rem remember all the moves is not easy, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, and um, that, it's, but to be very honest with you, what it comes down to, 
remembering, because chess is not a memory game, yeah? Memory is assisting you in prep. At some point, I end my, uh, my uh, variation and I say, okay, I draw there, I say, okay, if you want to push piece there, piece there, uh, this is our plan, uh, and we have good position, good luck. Of course, when I make all these arrows, in chess, chess is a reaction game, yeah? Very rare do you get to execute your plan without having to adjust it. Only when your opponent doesn't have counterplay, and that is so rare. Usually, opponent always has some. So chess is a reaction game. So as soon as the analysis ends, you will have to be reacting on your opponent's moves on your own. I could tell you the plan, which is good against most of the moves, but he will maybe make such move that you have to adjust the plan. And that's the difficulty that at some point you have to play yourself. And the question is then, is the dragon then an opening that suits you? Because maybe you play better some other type of position. How do I know that? Okay, this I don't know. But in terms of, uh, this is the main difficulty. It's not, I don't think it's so much true because dragon is not so big. It's not remember compared to other courses neither is much more uh, much bigger it's not so much to remember but it's just that uh, you have to play on your own in the end but i i do think really the for amateur uh, i think for uh, amateur level i think it's really good mm. uh, to play dragon yeah. prepared yeah i think it's better than on high level better than even than on high level because on high level, okay i saw some players manage to uh, to have fine results now this shebenik and also abasov he, he helped. Uh, it was funny. He played against Jordan, and Jordan knew my course, of course, because Jordan was one of the guys who was there when we found that idea. And uh, so he knew that idea before the course was released, but he knew he still couldn't do anything. Yeah. It was still a draw because he knew that it's fine. So what does it give you? Okay, you know it's fine. True. True. What do you play against it? So, it was, yeah, that was that. Uh, let's look at this game, G3. Similar. We play Bishop G7, Bishop G2, Knight C6. I was white actually, yeah. So uh, I was thinking, okay, I also. Ah, you, sta you, uh, you fun started with knight c6 first. Ah, yeah, yeah. She wanted to be. Uh... Oh, sorry, that's right. Because if you go bishop g7, bishop to knight c6, that's what I mean. I don't play the dragon, I play the knight of, and I don't have in my system this kind of mistakes I make. Knight c6 is a mistake because take, take e5. See, don't fall for it. See, I, I, in dragon, in knight of, I would not uh, even think to say such a thing. But in the dragon, uh, I have this natural, you know, they betray me sometimes, my uh, natural instinct. Yeah, so start first, with knight c6 so that when uh, he goes you take, bishop take. here, then yeah, you we take on d4. Take. No, yeah, but we take on d4. You could also go bishop g7, but we take on d4 and then bishop g7, and then it's fine. Right. Yeah. Okay, so... And if you take on c6 first, uh, sorry, just to say, if you take on c6 first, bc, bishop g2, now you don't go bishop g7, you play queen c7, you protect the pawn. And then you continue. Right. Okay. So in the game when knight d2. Yeah. Bishop d7. Yeah, she, she was playing uh, very creative. I, in the course, I recommend just to go bishop g7, uh, bishop g2, castle, castle, and uh, rook b8 with idea b5. And we push the pawns just. And it's, it's just fine. There is no need to be. But she wanted to be very. She had very interesting idea. Bishop d7. I don't know, over the board, or she knew maybe. Maybe she knew. Very interesting. So she went bishop g7, I went bishop g2, I guess, yeah. And she went queen c8, yeah. So she wants to trade. Now I would have, yeah, but I think if I castle, I was worried she will play bishop h3 and then some h5, h4, and okay, who knows? She reversed it on me, the <laughs> dragon attack. She reversed it on me. So I was okay, I don't know what's going on. So I uh, played some h3 move. And now the problem is that I cannot castle also, yeah, because uh, she started just to develop. She develops. And I can castle because bishop takes h3. Yeah. It's a problem. Yeah. But okay, I just play some moves, a4 and so on. Some developing moves, bishop to g5. She just makes also moves, rook e8. Okay. She could play here, I think, just uh, a6 also, preparing b5. But she played knight e5. Okay, that's fine. Knight e5 is also fine. Um, I went rook a2. It's something like I first, first b3. She made some move, rook eight. I played rook eight two. Felt very clever. And here, I actually thought, I remember because I, I didn't really understand dragon very well at the time, and I thought that that I have more space. That's crucial, you know. So it's all good for me because I have more space. Uh, but she started playing here very well. So she, also, I thought, I thought she, I've uh, restricted all counterplay because knight. You see pawns on h three, on b three. They restrict the knights. Everything is restricted. So I thought, okay, I've. Uh, I was very happy with my position here, I remember. But I was noob. I was noob at the time. 
She played very strong. Huh? She you, played you, nine you were 27-20. Yeah, yeah, but I was no. I was no. See, the strength does not always reflect the knowledge, yeah? Mm. But okay, also, I'm also high rated now, but uh, yeah, in general, I, I didn't know many, I understand many things. 96, she went. Yeah, and I went 95. And here, uh, she played very strong. It's incredible move, A5. Especially now, if I look at it from black, it's an incredible move because you allow the doubling of the f6 pawns, you allow knight b6 as well. Yeah, but why is this move so strong? I don't even get well, this it. This is incredibly good. So I'll explain you. She wants to take on knight d5, ed knight b4, and she wants to use the fact. So, what is white's problem in this position? Uh, white's problem is in this position that white hasn't castled, and the rook on a2 is a little bit strange. So, she plays very dynamic. She plays a5, very concrete move. It's actually a very strong move, yeah. I didn't even realize how strong it looks from black perspective. But uh, let's imagine that, like, knight d5, ed5. Ah, okay, this is a problem. Knight here. b4, yeah, it's a problem. Yeah, yeah. So you have to deal with it. I so think c3. I dealt with it not so well. C3. That's what yeah. I played, right? Yeah, you played it. I mean, it makes sense. But it's, sense. but it's not good because now she goes to b5. And now she starts hitting my weak pawn. And this is what I was talking about. That why black has this, positionally speaking, he has this sort of a minority attack. On the queen side, she is the one, you know, um, she is the one having all the play on the queen side. She could have Where also is white's started play? with b5, no? Here. But then oh, but maybe. C3, a5, c3 is much nicer because it creates a weakness on b3, which is much easier a target. True, true. It's much easier target. And also, pawn on a5, anyway, it belongs there. So she made a more useful move than I did. This is hanging. Yeah, and uh, already, yes, now I have I have not a good position because uh, what to be happy about? She would can be eight, okay? Hitting the pawn, rook a3. She played very well, yeah, she took two, 95. Yeah, wait, give me a second, can you go back? Because if I go f4, so I really don't remember, I, and I didn't analyze this game in such great detail, I think she wants knight c4, right? Hmm. And rook b1 and queen b2, yeah? Ooh. Yeah, because bishop doesn't is no longer, yeah, queen b2. That's just collapsing, collapsing. And she played very well, very well. Uh, so this f4 doesn't work. So I have to castle, and now she found a great resource again, a4. I remember, you know, before that game, because she's, she was rated 2600. I Before this game, I thought that, uh, honestly, I thought that maybe she's not such a strong player. Not because, uh, okay, yeah. Of course, uh, she was best woman in the world already uh, after Paul, after Judith Polgar, the, the best active woman, let's say. Uh, Judith Polgar was already slowly uh, quitting quitting uh, professional career, but I thought, okay, she's twenty six hundred rated player, and I didn't know how strong uh, that is. Uh, so, I, but after this game, I I understood that she's a very strong player because she played it extremely well. Amazing. A four, uh, that was a great move, and and I blundered with I played ninety four. If if you take this, then this yeah. See the thing is, all these trades, yeah. Now I have a weak c3 pawn left after the trade. Right, this is weak, and and it's for yeah. If she took, if you took this, then maybe I guess just rook a5. Yeah, this active she can do. Yeah, also active. Yeah, also active. Uh, I thought she could also regain the pawn, but I like rook b2 and knight c4. Yeah, just, uh, she will also end up regaining the pawn. But I like also active, yeah. Now, see, the, she creates the c4 square, and maybe even knight c4 immediately also doesn't look bad. Take a knight, knight e3. Uh, many, many options. But uh, rook b2, I like that. I like a lot. Yeah, rook b2 is nice. Mm. Also rook a5. Yeah, basically, um, it's just somehow... Okay, to be honest, that last move, knight c4, I don't like, but this rook a5 or rook b2, I like more. But may, mostly... As I told you, after you castle short with white, you are lacking a little bit the targets. Yeah, what is the what is it that you? Because okay, this e seven pawn that is weak, it is so far back that I protect it and and then what? Yeah, it's it's really right. When I was a kid, you know, I I saw one uh, one lecture. It was in some kind of software. It was like a book in a written, in an online form, um, and there was some game where Botvinnik put pressure against this e seven pawn. But somehow, uh, ever since that Botvinnik game, I've never seen it again in, in my life, you know? Like, it's uh, somehow the pressure on this e7 pawn is it's very hard 
Uh, yeah, you can't really get all the that. pieces to attack there. But yeah, I mean, if the pawn is transferred here and the bishop here and rook e1, maybe sometimes this does get... Sometimes, weak. but uh, sometimes yes. But whenever I looked at my course, black was always okay in these positions. So in theory, it could be pressure on the eastern, but it's, it's logical because your pawn is so far behind in your own camp that it's very well protected, yeah? If your troops are not going far, you know, yeah? When your troops are... Uh, then they are well protected. It's as soon as you start attacking that you weaken your positions. Yeah, so that's normal. But ninety four, yeah, I blundered here. She played rook b three. That's brilliant. Ninety three, yeah. ninety four. Yeah, this is not easy to foresee, uh, especially. Yeah, like... I've, at least I found ninety five because otherwise I'm just losing completely. Yeah, just a b and just collapse. B3. Exchange and this pawn, yeah, protected past pawn and this knight on c four. This great knight, yeah, just lost position. So knight c five. Takes. Yeah, it was, uh, yes, and now I was able to defend for a while. So then let's let's scroll the game because this part was time trouble and not so uh, some yeah small mutual inaccuracies. Not clear what happened. So black is doing well. It's clear because she has a couple pawns and now she's a pawn up. And soon, okay, uh, we reach this position and after time control. She's just a pawn up. So of course, she plays for win. So I take take. Uh, and here she gives me yeah she makes an interesting decision. I think it's probably. Wrong decision, but she allows me to sacrifice exchange. But then I made, uh, yeah, I took, 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 and I made then a big mistake, but it was a very understandable one. So you can see at some point uh, down the line, let's go. She, she made the move. I made the move. I transferred bishop to f3, which was very fine. I love the diagonal. It's important to, yeah, no, I said queen e4. So, so let's go back to queen e4. So here, instead of queen e4, I can play a move with bishop, yeah, like bishop uh, d3, let's say. Not to trade queens, to try not to trade queens, yeah? And try to play maybe h4, maybe hit the e6 weakness, maybe h5. Good chances, uh, good chances to defend this position because of her slightly weakened king and the relatively little material left. But I'm just a full uh, exchange down. But what I knew is that in the end game, let's, let's apply queen e4. I actually thought I want the end game because in the end game, let's take take. And okay, let's see what I played. I played some move. Yeah, f4 was my point, and h4. So what I knew, if, if she plays e5, let's go in 5 instead of, uh, oops, yeah, e5, f5, rook e6, bishop f3, rook e5, I knew that this is a theoretical draw. Yeah. Because you can't come with the king to e3, but you cannot come further, because I keep my bishop on the long diagonal, and king on g1. So let's let's show it. Let's say king g1, uh, rook c5. Yeah, let's just go rook c5, rook c2 at some point. Uh, bring the king to e3. Yeah, we just wait. This is black achieved maximum here. And then after that, let's make some waiting move. Bishop b7. Black cannot make progress because we have some sort of a some sort of a wall with uh, protecting f2, f3, f4 squares, right? He cannot cross that. True. And I knew this. So I thought that you know this great knowledge of endgame is going to help me make a draw here in the endgame. What I didn't realize is that she's not going to play e5. I think this is the only plan. And she actually also knew all this, and she found the right plan, which I thought was very impressive at the time. She first, okay, moved a bit. I thought, okay, I already started to get worried, like, okay, what is she doing? She doesn't push e5. But I thought, okay, you know, she can come anyway to d4 with the king. I, that was not the problem. I knew. It's fine. What is the difference? Anyway, she has to play. It's the same fortress, right? You would think. Yeah. But then she went rook a7. Yes, rook c7. And now she went h6. And I realized, oh, she's going g5. Ooh. She's going to create a passer here. Like. She's going to create a e passer e, yeah, e pawn. And that's brilliant. Yeah, that was a brilliant actually. Uh, and just g5. And this was just winning. Nice. Nice. Because takes, we met with rook. Just rook g7, I guess, and just takes it. And so... yeah, can you continue? Because I remember in this game, it was funny. We started to, uh, there's a video, and I was very angry um, in the video. So some people thought that I was like, uh, because I lost to her or something, but it's because I thought that I could make a draw in the end because, okay, BX is completely winning, but she started to be a bit shaky because of the time trouble. And I thought that she allowed me H7, yeah. And Ooh, Bishop G. Nice. I thought that she allowed me a draw, but actually, yeah, I thought this was maybe a draw. But it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't. Ah, you are in Zug. I'm in Tsutsang, yeah. Ah, because here, yeah, yeah. I missed this. Yeah, I missed this. Because after King D1, yes, Bishop C4. Or oh, Bishop C4, let's say, even more instructive. Rook H7, Bishop E2, and Rook H1, and then just waiting move. 
Yeah, so I remember that I was thinking maybe I'm holding at some point, then I realized that, yes, I was actually not holding. Yeah, yeah this happen. even the tempo, uh, tempo up uh, is still lost for me. Very interesting. So it was nice. Yeah, it was a great game actually on her part, I have to say. Yeah. I was very impressed. But uh, Anish, overall, like the dragon, the main uh, topic of our discussion uh, seems like a very uh, exciting opening to try. Uh, like what the what the player who wants to play as black must be careful is all these uh, bishop e3, f3, sorry, first, uh, yeah, bishop e3, f3, queen d2 and bishop c4 or long castle lines. They should be very mm -hmm. well, they should know what to do. And against mm -hmm. other lines like bishop e2 or g3 or a4 or something like other ones like f4 maybe, they have to just be sure. Like, you know, uh, I mean, they, they can just play normal chess. Yeah, and to be honest, okay, I mean, all these courses and all this fun, of course, we always have to promote. I mean, even with this course, I promote sometimes that you can now, two, the two more days, guys, you can get at a uh, discount and so on. Uh, but uh, and you have there six hours of video and three hours of sumia yeah? and also uh, some extra sessions and stuff. But th this, that aside, that aside, uh, and the t-shirts, of course, of Chinese <laughs> India. But <laughs> all that aside, what is actually uh, what I honestly think is that um, I think Dragon is a much easier opening to learn for um, amateurs. For amateur, okay, yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, amateur club players. Because compared to neither of you always have similar plans. You've already defined your development. You're going just, 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 just you, there is no other pawn structure you will have. You'll go g6, you'll go bishop g7, and you will not touch your e pawn. You will just have the dragon pawn structure forever. Maybe you go d5 one day, maybe not. But other than that, it's all already set. So you have to know typical ideas in the positions that you will just keep getting. Like no matter what your opponent will play, you will get these positions. So you can learn something at home and you can apply it. And when you are um, weaker, you want to basically apply the knowledge that, that you are taught and you are not yet very good at being flexible with the knowledge, right? You don't know exceptions to rules yet. You mm -hmm. only know the rules, hopefully. At least you know the rules. Yeah? That's, the, that's the best you can have. While in the Nidor, when you play A6, uh, in the Nidor promotional video, we will do the, all the good things about Nidor, but the thing with the Nidor, <laughs> opposed to the Dragon, is that you remain flexible, which is great. So you can choose the, uh, the move accordingly, but you have many different uh, structures. You have E5 structure, you have E6 structure, you have G6 structure, depending on, for example, against Queen F3, I think. Yeah, against Queen F3, I'm going with the best move G6, which is the dragon structure, right? And against, let's say, Knight B3 after A6, I'm going with the best move uh, E6. Because e5 now would be bad because you weaken now bishop g5 comes immediately. So if e6 so is uh, there are too many uh, pawn structures to study while in dragon there is only one kind. Well, of. I mean not too many. You can study; it's all good. Um, but it's harder because there are at the very least already three completely different pawn structures with their own typical ideas, with their own um, motives, their own model games. So um, in the dragon you already have defined which structure you're going for, and. Uh, yeah, that sort of that long castle is dangerous. I mean, if you are well prepared there, and if you are amateur or club player, you are going to be better prepared than your, your opponent. Yeah, because uh, amateurs or club players they are better prepared, and if you will prepare in that uh, line, then you will be better prepared by definition already. Mm. You just face very badly prepared opposition by default. So, uh... so I, I don't see the. I think the downside of the dragon is not very high in amateurs. That's honestly what I think. So I think that. In general, yeah, I think that dragon is easier than neither for uh, uh, because it's because it's less flexible actually, and that's actually an advantage. You just have already defined your pawn structure, and you already know your plans, and you just apply them, and that's uh, it's nice. Of course, uh, with neither, you learn more at the end of the day because you expose yourself to more different positions, right? And you learn this way much more. But okay, you have players who play yeah. the same thing all, all their life, and they're happy. And if someone gets this sweet and uh, sweet course, short and sweet, yeah, short and short sweet, sweet yeah. course, what uh, what would they learn from that? Because it's one hour and it's free, right, for people. Yeah, to yeah, that's true, that's true, that's true. They should all do that for sure. That's very nice. Yeah, the um, uh, they will for sure. What I usually do with short and sweet is uh, because it's called sweet. Also, so it's not just short. I show. Um, 
very good scenarios usually. I show variations where Black gets um, what he wants very often, lines that are very, very good. Of course, in the course, uh, I show the full truth, right? So there will be lines where uh, Black has to be uh, accurate, right? The Black has to make a lot of good moves to defend. When Black is not winning at the end of the line, but he's just equalizing. Uh, in short and sweet, I usually don't put many such lines. I want to give the player sort of, I want to show the player what is the upside of playing it, right? So I think it's definitely very, should be very inspiring and should be very helpful because you know what you're aiming for. But of course, uh, yeah, like for the complete knowledge of the theory of the dragon, for, for the full uh, thing, then of course there there is the course. But I mean, I think already with this video and uh, short and sweet, I mean, it's not like... Um, but yeah, it's, it depends. Of course, if you want to play, let's say, Dragon as your uh, main opening and you're facing, uh, you know, you want to be well prepared, then of course the course is perfect because it covers like every move. Also sidelines, by the way, uh, after E4, C5, uh, there are sidelines. And uh, I play, play differently because, for example, after Knight C3, I play here G6. In the Knight, of course, I couldn't play G6 uh, because if Knight F3, I go um, Bishop G7, let's say, uh, d4, cd knight d4, I go uh, d6, let's say, bishop e3, knight f6. Of course, in the knight dwarf, I cannot say, and we transpose back, because we transpose not to knight dwarf, but to dragon. But in the dragon course, I could go g6, right? True. So, uh, and actually, if you play the dragon, then g6 is a better move than uh, d6. Because right. if, let's say, you go f4, just to show that before we finish, g6, f4, bishop g7, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, uh, the Grand Prix attack, so-called, which is very dangerous in the Knight Earth, uh, but it's okay, I have it in the course, but it's dangerous. But here we go E6, Castle Knight E7, and we go here D7, D5 in one go instead of D6, D5. So we win a whole tempo on, against the Grand Prix attack. So uh, sidelines are also different from Knight of course, because we can transpose to different things, yeah? So it's uh, like that. Uh, there are some upsides here as well. So yeah, if you want, like, if you want to know everything, then uh, you have the course, but uh, I think... If you want to see, let's say, what's the point of the dragon, what are the, you know, what you are hoping for, what are the upsides, what are the ideas, and sure, it was great. Nice, nice. Before before we end this stream, Anish, can I show you one game of mine that I played in the dragon, which I'm very proud of? Uh-huh, uh-huh, let's see. I played it when I was very young. Uh... Eight year old, okay. <laughs> Takes, takes. Because I, Dragon was my main repertoire when I was young because I mm -hmm. loved how there were many traps and everything. Like mm -hmm. the Rook takes C3 stuff and all. Mm -hmm. uh, so G6, Bishop E3. Uh, sorry, uh, Bishop E2 was played. BG7, Castles, Castles. Bishop E3. Knight C6. Uh, I think Knight B3 was played. This is what we reached. And I had played... Uh, I guess without a6, bishop e6, f4, rook c8, f5, bishop d7, g4, knight e5, g5. Mm -hmm. And this happened in my game. And I was like, uh, I didn't know the theory yeah, at, this, at this point. Like I was on the board and I found a very good move here. Of course, for, for this is not a question to Anish. It's for the chat, guys. What did the, what does black do here? But Anish, d does this motif occur in your course? Like, uh, like in your lines where... Because it is one of the most important motifs, right? In the dragon. Uh, in, in most Sicilians, it is... Uh... It, of course, occurs, uh, but it occurs less because in the main line, I recommend the taking on d4, right? And it mostly occurs in the main line. And uh, see, the thing is, if that line, if this uh, sack works out well, then it's very nice. But uh, there were issues with the lines where you tried to do the sack. So, no, it, it occurs for sure. I think there must be, uh, there must be, but not many, not many, because, uh, yeah, most in the main line and there I take on d4, and that's just different. Yeah, well, guys, you all of you are right. Uh, takes, takes, takes. Yeah, it's such a sweet version. Yeah, it's rarely this good the version. That yeah, is like the, perfect. I mean, the most important point is that after takes, takes, yeah, bishop suddenly take, and here queen d two, the rook is not getting trapped because there is a square on h three, and somehow you can. Yeah. 
so, like very black nice, is nice. winning here so yeah well anish this was uh, tremendous i think um, a lot of people learned many things and i'm sure that they will explore more in this territory uh, and learn from your course guys uh, go to the first link download the sweet and uh, short and sweet course and the second link is for the entire course to learn the dragon uh, and yeah, then also a lot of people uh, yeah a lot of people also learned uh, that we did israel sell his soul for content that people also learn <laughs> yeah i think we should also put the link in description for with its vlogs uh, that's also i think with its channel <laughs> it's vlogs, yeah, yeah. right away right away in the vlogs because otherwise in the channel there is a lot of other stuff but the vlogs is the video of course is just uh, epic you know this vlogs how they are subtle uh, you know if he has this vlogs i mean it's ridiculous basically he takes uh, some kind of walk we made in uh, that i already po posted about two months ago on my channel and i have a viral vlog by the way guys everyone go check out my vlog it's viral it's like almost 300 k views <laughs> you know so i want i, I already, want yeah. i want something like that to happen like with it is shooting and i just take 10 seconds and i put it yeah no but i put this and it went completely viral he's trying now so we did, he puts this walk we had of like three months ago already. He puts it there. And then he says he's shoot, uh, shooting. Suddenly, Vedika enters the room and she's like, oh, we did buy you. I, uh, um, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Vedika. Did you know that there is this skincare product? It's really nice. Oh, but you really? Is it for me? I think it's for you. No, I think it's for you, Vedika. Okay. And then, you know, <laughs> and it's, they, they do this, uh, you know. <laughs> with this product you can put it on your face there was this one ridiculous. part where vedika is like with it bhai like with it bhai you brought a gift from, for me from russia yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah, i was yeah. like wow with it brought from russia yeah, yeah, later yeah. i realized that it was yeah, not yeah. a gift from russia and it's i was an, like <laughs> vedika would be so upset <laughs> no, it was very funny she's like oh you brought me a gift and she's like <laughs> ah. no, I could see that some sadness in her eyes like no this is not the gift from Russia <laughs> yeah no it's uh, I mean it's very good I, it's very good very good it's just I mean just I have no words to be honest yeah no it was the uh, like guys of course Vidit uh, would be here somewhere let, wait let me see if I can bring him Skincare products, guys. Skincare products. Oh, skincare products. If you want, I'm also available, of course. Uh, you know my video, my channel. Very successful vlogger. I could also vlog. Uh, usually, I make around 16 second long videos. They go completely viral. Uh, so, if you want uh, integration in the 16 second long video, I can give you about 15 seconds of um, advertisement space uh, on my channel can hit me up as well but only if you have a lot of money to offer otherwise i'm not gonna i don't want to look ridiculous yeah with skincare products for some kind of peanuts yeah so but yeah it's uh that's that's what it is so uh we did uh, we did slept now uh which uh -huh. is surprising because there was content available like people are practicing and all but he slept but tanya has sent a message that you should promote her channel yeah but Sagar, I'm, i think we did probably doing one of these sleep uh, streams right <laughs> I doubt he's sleeping for like for free. Like uh, <laughs> probably he's pro probably he's advertising. Probably he's advertising some kind of sleep care routine product. <laughs> Guys, I sleep much better now with this Go to Sleep app. You can download it in the link description below. I, I slept, like like I like how you put it. He's he's not he's not probably sleeping for free. <laughs> <laughs> but it's sleeping for free. Why? <laughs> well, I could be sleeping for like so much. Yeah, Tanya's channel, yeah? Tanya's channel is uh, OP. That's not a good promotion. <laughs> you need to say something more. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. Let me see if there is even some videos. Because I remember Tanya, <laughs> she did one video. She had 50k uh, subs. Everybody thought she would have 5 million subs. And then that was it. Let's see. Uh, Tanya. I, I think uh, a good stream on Tanya's channel is... Ah, wait, waking up with chat at the Srinath and Sohani. Wow. Okay. Maybe the, the, the few episodes she did with uh, Sumit Saurav teaching chess were very good. 
And Tanya. Yeah. Yeah. No, she has uh, uh, she has very good thumbnails. That's for sure. And uh, she, you know, whenever she does a stream, she really prepares hard for it, and it's always a special event. Like for many people, like for me, it's like. Oh, uh, I already did my um, graphic course. I don't feel like checking neither. Uh, I'm a bit lazy to play Blitz games. I did already all the promotions. Uh, Vedika is uh, studying. I'm bored. Let me stream. Okay, let's go stream. It goes live. It's okay, guys. So here I am. Hi, everyone. Oh, hi. Uh, you know, hi, Nikesh in the chat. Thanks for the super chat. And uh, he hopes the super chat will keep coming for stream long. As soon as they finish, he's like, okay, what shall I do? Oh, guys, so today we are going to, uh, let me do a poll. What are we going to do? Let me do a poll. So he puts a poll. He's like, oh, call AG. Shall I call AG? Okay, let me see if I can call AG. Then he calls me. I see, okay, some new calling. Probably he has, he has his stream, because I don't pick up usually. Then uh, he's like, so uh, now let's, uh, yeah, let's maybe play on chess.com. Let's play maybe. I don't know. Let's play. What do you want me to play? Bullet or uh, and like this? Tanya, on the other hand, she prepares for a month. She thinks on 27th September, <laughs> is, it a, is it a Thursday? Okay, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday is good. People come from work. They already look forward to the weekend, but it's not yet weekend, so they are in the work mode. So I will do a stream at 7.30. They probably have dinner. At 7.50, I will start my stream on Thursday, 27 September. And then what shall I do? Yeah, probably I should have, a, you know, uh, she puts an OBS, you know, scene with her camera only. She checks the settings. She asks Gamer Fleet everything. She says, okay, she calls Karan, says, says Karan, 27 September, you have time? Yeah, yeah. So it's uh, 8.15. You will raid me and I will, uh, you know, raid you and all this. So she plays everything is planned. And then in the month, she does a stream and it's just an absolute epic stream. And she comes and she comes like, oh, I have today messy hair, guys. For five hours, she was there preparing that messy hair, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly like this messy in exactly that way, you know? So, you know, how are we here? Oh, I feel so rusty. She prepared two months for the bullet game they're going to play now. So, oh, let me play some bullet game, you know? <laughs> Everything is already sc uh, scripted. Everything is prepared. So every stream is absolutely, like, it's just to perfection. Fit to perfection. Maybe Tanya, if, if she listens to this, she would say, please stop. Please stop this promotion right now. <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, it's uh, it's just the way like Tanya is a perfectionist. With it is just uh, preparing noob. on the spot. <laughs> noob, yes. <laughs> it is a noob, yes. That's the word. Correct. And uh, yeah. Well, Anish, it was uh, amazing. Great fun. Today, I mean, we I imagine that uh, we would be discussing Dragon, just uh, you and me. But we go, we had Vidit, we had Tanya and of course, the special chief guest whose name will also come in the uh, title it was Michael, whom you taught some Dragon. So... Was was yeah, Michael? He was you saw, eh? he was very disturbed with King of Seven, but I had to. I had to yeah. it was Endgame. Does, does Michael talk so like uh, like this all the time or? No, no. Only when uh, you show some <laughs> position that's very dangerous, then he gets a bit uh, concerned, starts talking. Otherwise, he's when you when we talk about some Italian or something, he's very calm usually. <laughs> You remember but, there was this yeah. one stream where we spoke about Abhimanyu Mishra and you were like, oh, for five, four or five years, he didn't do any chess. While, you know, Michael already three months old, he's, run, he's learning already stuff. <laughs> and yeah, I, yeah, I exactly. could feel that. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Uh, good content. Yeah. Okay, Anish, thank you so much. And you, uh, see you soon. You. And maybe on one of the days of the online Olympiad, guys, if you want Anish, Anish, you won't be playing, yeah, uh, for no, Team Netherlands. No, no. So... I will play. Uh, I will play the tournament in Russia, but that's not. Uh, when, when is when is India's first game? So eighth, uh, ninth, and tenth are three, mm. three, three rounds, and then thirteenth uh -huh. uh, is quarterfinals, fourteenth is semis, and fifteenth is finals. So in, uh, okay, I mean, in case days, if yeah. India mm. reaches the finals or semi-finals, would be you know, great. Yeah, yeah, no, I would. Uh, that would be cool because I would be uh, probably out uh, of have time for that. So that's great. Okay. I have, by the way, you know, with Surya at some point. Let me check my. Uh, I forget which day. Uh, I have a very bad memory for days. Like it's important for me and stuff, but I just don't uh, bad memory for these things. I have good memory for chess, but like days and dates and years, all this I have very bad. Let me see when. Seven September. Okay, okay. So today's what? Five. Yeah, I have the Surya also. You know, some kind of class. Ah, yeah, yeah, you are teaching. Yeah, you know, just training. Guys, subtle yeah. subtle marketing, yeah. But... Uh... 
It's not Maya. I don't care. Yeah, I don't. Uh, for Surya, it's just uh, it's uh, for him. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, but no, it's very uh, interesting. Uh, Anish will be uh, training at Pro Chess training. Uh, I think it is uh, two days of training or one. No, 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 no. I will just do two hours. I'll just do two hours. I'm like uh, sort of just. I, I'm not a regular coach there or something. I'm, uh, of course, unfortunately, I don't have time to do a lot of this kind of things. But I will just be doing for two hours. It should be fun. There's like Prague, I think, is there even. Some very talented uh, youngsters. Uh, all are talented, but Prague is also famous. Ah, Prague, Prague might not be yeah, there. That's on why that I mentioned. Uh, I'm, I don't know. I did get from him uh, some okay. uh, questions. Maybe so. se seventh, mm -hmm. yeah. Because eighth mm -hmm. uh, Olympiad will start. By the way, Prague is just yeah, outside mm -hmm. here. He is practicing right yeah, now. Yeah, but he, of course, needs... Uh, what, what do you think? I guess it will be great prep for him, yeah? For uh, Olympiad. I, you know, Prague is one of the biggest consumer of information from everywhere. So, like, after this, he will go to his room and maybe tomorrow or tonight, he will check this stream quickly. He will learn, oh, something in the dragon. He is like every... Like, he learns from every little thing. So, that's his... Uh, very Prague good. is, by the way, m much better prepared than I thought. Uh, I mean, I didn't know how he well he's prepared. I thought he's maybe... Yeah, he's just a kid running around, you know? No, no, he likes uh, to... Uh, but, yeah, for get, sure. Like, consume information a lot. Yeah, very well. Because I was uh, preparing for my new course, actually. And I was looking some Italian positions. And a few times I see, you know, ancient suggestion, like really far into the line Prague is blanking on the first moves yeah I think like, he must be prepared because he cannot play this well yeah like uh, very deep into the line some critical line I see well Prague I also saw like more than one game was, uh, he's working on chess yeah Prague everybody's yeah. there making jokes and all but Prague is there uh, preparing right now I'm just outside outside yeah. here uh, Prague Vaishali Tanya Bhakti and Shyam Sundar all of them are working on chess Shyam is the coach of the team and they are all working like it's oh, really? midnight here and they're oh, still, wow. Wow. still so very serious chess training seriously yeah oh i'm i have a fomo now i fear of missing out okay okay no it's um uh, yeah no good good if they can send me their analysis i will check ah okay i'll offer, i'll tell them <laughs> <laughs> okay anish thanks a lot okay take care you. man bye see you bye thanks Guys, that was Anish. Uh, was an epic session. I think uh, so much to learn, so much. Uh, you know, the thing about Anish is that he can make any session interesting just by his humor, by his knowledge and can make it effortless. Uh, Dragon and opening, which I think is very, very exciting. Uh, and I hope that you guys learned a couple of things. For now, I have to figure out where to do commentary from and everything related to the online Olympiad. But it's my first day in Chennai right now. I have had a long journey plus uh, interviews, videos and everything. So I'll take your leave, guys. I'll, it's time to sleep. Until then, everyone. Ah, yes, a lot of super chats. I'll quickly read it. Thank you all for wishing uh, uh, Teacher's Day. Adil Khan, thank you for becoming backer of Indian Chess. Ravi Ranjan Mishra, happy Teacher's Day, Baba. Thank you. Nanda Kishur, could we have meetup organized in Chennai for fans? I'll try to see after the 8th, 9th, 10th games. There are two rest days, 11th and 12th. If something we can do, then, then we can plan. Ramit says, oh, that makes, uh, this makes um, Anish seem like an adult contradicting every other online appearance. Ah, right. You mean uh, when uh, Dan, when Michael was there. Rahul Goshal, happy Teacher's Day to all of you. Thank you, Rahul. Raghuraj Mukherjee, love Anish, big fan. Next World Champ cover is like Harry Potter on Dragon. Exactly, yes. Uh, cool catch. One day I want to see Anish perform on a live stand-up routine. I think he'll soon come to India for something like that. Deep Shekhar Das, Sagar, why face some problem in Chessbase app? Please write to chessbaseindia at gmail.com. Would like to fix it. Vrashi Nagarwal, how players are allowed to meet you in COVID times? Well, we are here at the hotel. We have all done our tests and everyone's pretty okay. Wonder Traveler, who let the dragons out? Tapan Krishna, can we come to Taj to cheer you all, Sagar Bhai? At least I would love to get autograph from you and everyone. I think Tapan will try to figure out how this works, but maybe on 11th and 12th, I'll speak with Vidit and also the organizers and we'll figure something out. But yeah, take care, guys, and uh, talk to you soon. Bye bye. Good night.